Welcome back to Red Deck Ingenuity. My name's Miles, and today we're gonna to be working on an air compressor. Here's the old compressor that came on the tank. It's a central pneumatic. The oil fill cap was missing. Um, it had sat outside for a while before I got it and cracked along here. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it cracked all along there, so now it won't hold oil. Um, I'm assuming water got in there, froze, and busted it. And if there was water in there, you can imagine there's rust in there as well. So we decided to just get the new model of the central pneumatic. It's a five horsepower air compressor. It's a little, the new model's a little bit different. This has moved over here on the new one. So we do have to replumb everything. And the holes are a little different. Luckily, I believe they're gonna match up on the new tank. So we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna have to re-solder that. We're gonna have to change this, rotate that over and flip this over. And then hopefully that'll be real close to fitting. We may have to cut something, I'm not sure, but. All right, basically I'm gonna just heat this up and try and spin this around. Okay, we got those pieces apart. I guess the next step is to tighten down the actual air pump and uh, make sure that's where it's gonna be before we're cutting and measuring copper. with a screwdriver or something get it up there. That's why I put that. Don't smash my finger now. No. Oh. Alright, there we go. Yeah, you need a lock washer or, a, or are you just putting that lock nut on it? There we go. I'm just gonna put the lock nut on it for now. This one is going to be a stretch, I think. My doll, you got her good. So, we got her stripped down. Now we're ready to rebuild. I'm applying some pipe dope here, and then we'll get her screwed in. It ought to be. Well, if I can get it started here, dang gone. One. Now it's going to hit that. There you go, you got it. <clears throat> you may notice that the plumbing's already soldered. I got it done. I had a very difficult time doing it because I've got the wrong flux in solder. It was old solder that I'd found that still had lead in it. And I didn't realize it at the time. So I was very frustrated. So I finished that. Um, now we're wiring. And then at the end, I'll go over it.
Okay, good. Plug it in and show you. Here's the finished product. I didn't film when I was sweating the copper pipe, at least when I had the correct flux and solder. Just FYI, if you have no lead flux, you need to use no lead solder. It will not work. I'll insert a clip here of the first time I tried to do this and I was quite frustrated because from what I had remembered, it had been forever since I've sweated pipe, but what I remembered it was super easy and with the wrong flux and solder it's next to impossible this will get redone that was bent for the original configuration of the old one so you connect your compressor up here to your tank with a check valve to bleed off the, the back pressure for when it stops and restarts and then you have your switch which tells it, you know, at this pressure shut off, at this pressure turn on. Um, you put a gauge on there, obviously, you gotta know how much pressure is in the tank. Pop off valve right here. If you get too much pressure before the tank explodes, it'll release the pressure. Underneath is your drain to let any water or condensation to let it out. Um, I've seen a lot of people put uh, condensation traps on these, which that's a good idea. You can put regulators which I actually have a regulator it's just not installed yet all sorts of stuff oilers for you know different guns and whatnot you can do all sorts of stuff but the basic setup is very simple this is no bells and whistles this is a three horse motor this is a five horse pump so it runs okay we'll see how long it holds up that's going to do it for this week's episode I hope you enjoyed it like comment share subscribe and we'll see you on the next redneck ingenuity